free. This one's the WWE champions. Pay to win like every day, yeah. I don't play ball games. Funny how they still think I'm a broke man. Then I'm broke. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Me. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. Three pieces of news. First of all, I think we should get to the big piece of news, Capcom Cup. Yes, after a, almost a year now, right? Like Street Fighter Six came out in June of last year. So we're talking, what, 10 months it's been out? Eight months? Eight months it's been out? About eight months, nine months now? Um, the first world circuit is complete. Players from all around the world competed and qualified for this tournament. The $1 million prize cup for first place for Street Fighter Six. Sadly, it kind of went down exactly how I thought it would. What do I mean? Basically, unless you were like one of the top five characters in the game, you had no chance of winning Capcom Cup. That's literally what I said last year. All right? Last year, when everyone's like, oh, Capcom Cup, or people hyped for Capcom Cup, I said, why would you be hyped for Capcom Cup? Do you not understand how this works? Number one, the only people who have a chance of winning Capcom Cup are pro players. People who are signed on a team, have the ability to play this game full-time, travel all around the world, have the resources and the means to play that much. There's no Joe Nobody Cinderella story, right, who's going to come out of nowhere. Like, oh, the winner of Capcom Cup was John Arnold from Hoboken, New Jersey, playing in his parents' basement, and now he's the world champion. That's never going to happen. The way that these games go now is that the only way, the only way that you can get good and win these tournaments is to be in a pro situation, signed to a team, sponsorships out the butt to pay for your travel, to pay for everything so you can constantly play. Pro players play games 5 to 10 hours a day. I'm not exaggerating. They play these fighting games 5 to 10 hours a day, okay? <clears throat> and if you take a look at who made it into Capcom Cup, all right? Literally all pro players, all signed to teams and stuff like that, um, who were the people? Like, ten Lukes, eight Kens, five or six juries, five DJs. Now, I'm, I, these aren't exact numbers, but this is pretty much exact, you know, what I was trying to tell you guys. This is how, the, how it will be. All the easy top tiers, way overly going to be, you know, expected to be represented. All the mid to low tiers, completely underrepresented. And sadly, Capcom Cup will be incredibly boring to watch. Guess what? Capcom Cup was incredibly fucking boring to watch. It was literally every single fight. Ken, Luke, Jury, DJ. Ken, Luke, Jury, DJ. Ken, Luke, Jury, DJ. There was so few matches that weren't those characters. You, might, you were falling asleep. Really. Like, it was just shitty. And that sucks because, it sadly, it just shows the game does not have good balance. Okay? That's not good. Um, and I, I, t I said this, once the top tiers were determined in the game, what did I say? I said, the problem with this game is that the top tiers are too easy to play with, all right? If you had a character, like, let's say Dalzim was the best character in the game, at least then it would make sense. He's the best character in the game because he's one of the hardest to play. So even though he's outstanding and he dominates, you're not going to have as many people using him. The problem with Street Fighter VI is the top tier characters are the easiest to play in the game. They have every fucking advantage and almost no disadvantages. They can continuously rush down with absolutely no risk-reward ratio at all. It's all reward. It's literally just wait, wait, wait for an opening. Wait for the one hit. Get it? Boom. Win. That's not fun. That's not good competitive gameplay. That was Capcom Cup. You had Snake Eyes, the best uh, the best Zangief in the world, gets put into a pool with two DJs. He can't win because that's an insane countermatch. No matter how perfect he plays, he's going to lose, right? We had no no E-Hondas, no Minos, no uh, Lilies, right? None of these characters that would have added variety. None of them made it to Capcom Cup because the top tiers are too dominant in this game and too fucking easy to play. I'm going to give you an example here. Okay? Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. For the longest time, everyone thought that old Sagat was the best character in the game. Why? Because he's the easiest to play, but he's very dominant. But over time, gameplay evolved. You want to know who actually is probably the best character in the game? Old T-Hawk. Okay? 
Now, wait a minute. What does that mean? Old T-Hawk is an alternate version of T-Hawk. You have to put a code in to get him on the select screen. Old T-Hawk has the best throws in the game, the best command throw. He actually has situations where he can trap you with little tick moves, like tick jabs, and then immediately go into a throw, and there's literally nothing you can do. You lose. Okay? Now, people didn't know that old T-Hawk was good for the longest time. Why? Because he was hard to play. But once people figured out, wow, if you play perfectly and you master this character, he's one of, if not the best character in the game, it completely changed the face of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Now when you play Super Turbo, no exaggeration, almost every character can be played at a high competitive level. There's some exceptions, like Blanca, he sucks. And it's, it's unfortunate. I like Blanca a ton. He's just terrible in Super Turbo, okay? But basically, that game is super fun because you can play an easy-to-play character like Old Sagat, or you can play the hardest character in the game to play Old T-Hawk, and they all have a competitive chance. In Street Fighter VI, only about seven characters have a competitive chance because they're too fucking easy to play, and the game's too skewed towards them. All right? Can you win with Honda? Sure. Could you win a match with Lily? Yes. Are you ever going to get a significant streak of wins with them? No. Are you going to win a tournament with them? No. It's sad. Because that's how it is in good fighting games. In good fighting games, on any given day, anyone can win. In Street Fighter VI, that's not the case. They kind of fucked it up. They made it so that it was easy to play. What it is is they wanted accessibility. They wanted any Joe Nobody to be able to play Street Fighter VI and learn a basic pattern with these top tiers and be able to beat people. But they made it too easy. So with no actual hurdle to access the game at a competitive level, you've got these dominant tiers that just aren't fun to watch. Do you really want to watch Capcom Cup? It's the same five characters for fucking four hours. It's the same shit in a circle. <clears throat> you can do that at home, <laughs> right? Now, the winner of Capcom Cup, his name was Uma, and he's a jury player. And it was hilarious because... I saw reactions online like, oh, thank God the jury won instead of the, the army of Lukes. And, and, you know, take this, you jury haters. What jury haters? Jury is dominantly one of the top tier characters in the game. It's probably a triple tie. Ken, Luke, jury are probably the top three with DJ right there, maybe top, maybe a long tie or maybe just under. And then you arguably have one or two characters like JP or whatever just under that, right? And then you've got everybody else. No one was saying that Jury sucked. No one was saying that Jury was an underdog. Why would you even say that? If you said it, you're a fucking idiot. She's a great character. Yeah, she plays differently than maybe spammable Luke, but she's still a great character, and everyone knows she's top tier. So, it's just funny to me, because this is exactly what I said was going to happen last year. I said, based on what I'm seeing, <clears throat> you're not going to have anyone who's not signed to a team be able to do anything in this game, and I was correct. The only people who are placing, winning, and doing significantly well in Street Fighter VI are people who are on these professional teams literally playing the game full-time. I said, once this game's meta is developed, you're going to see, because these rushdown characters are too easy to play and too overpowered, this is all you're going to see. And everyone said, oh, you're just over-exaggerating. You just saw Capcom Cup. How many Kens? How many Lukes? How many Juries? How many DJs? Exactly as I said when I played the game online is exactly what came to pass in the biggest tournament of the year. So, <clears throat> I hate to say it, sadly, um, I feel like we've kind of reached that level where that's all we're going to see in the game until they rebalance it. So, I'm hoping they're going to fix this. I don't want Street Fighter Six from now on to be Jury, Ken, Luke, DJ, JP. I don't want it to be a five-character game, but that's what's happening right now. And now that Capcom Cup has happened, oh, you bet your stars and garters that everyone's going to jump on the jury bandwagon. 5,000 online pattern play spammable juries that you can't beat because the character's overpowered, right? That sucks. So, they will eventually fix the game, I feel. They always do. Like, Season 2 will likely be after all the DLC characters are released. So you got Ed next week. We're actually got Ed tomorrow, right? Ed is tomorrow. Holy shit, time flies. And then you've got <clears throat> uh, Bla uh, uh, Blanca, wow. Akuma coming out in a couple of months. And after that, then they'll probably do the Season 2 balance patch. And God, they better make it so that 
number one, these characters at the bottom have a chance or else no one's ever going to touch them again. And number two, they've got to nerf these top tiers that are just so stupidly easy to play and too brokenly overpowered. So that would be how they're going to fix it, in my opinion. But let's see what happens, okay? So congratulations to Uma. No one's going to take away from the fact that the people who are good at this game put in insane amounts of time, dedication, and have insane amounts of skill. No one. It's just sad that Capcom Cup literally was how I explained it would be. No variety, no real fun, the same pattern shit over and over in a circle, boring as shit. Don't want to see the same five characters for the rest of the game's life cycle, right? Okay.